Okay, so it's been, God, almost three months, like two and a half months since my last update video. Um, yeah, <laughs> quite a while. Uh, but I was looking over on the, um, the mods board and uh, I noticed that uh, it's changed from 1.35 to 1.37. I don't know when that change actually happened, but I spotted it last night. So um, looking at the repository for the core mods, it seems to be maybe two weeks ago that they were updated. But uh, if we look at sort of the other ones, it's maybe the past couple of days for like actual mods. So uh, it's not been too long. Um, but yeah, so I thought it was time to just make a new update video because new, some new mods came out on the previous version but it wasn't worth just making a video for um but let's look through these quickly so obviously we've got the core mods at the top here um, and then we've got nine actual mods uh, at the bottom so we've got better song search chroma crash reporter dlc sorter gear sabers noodle extensions no promo nya and smooth controller um, the main one for me here is chroma like it's been so long since i've had chroma um, another one i'm waiting for which weirdly you wouldn't think is that much uh, a, a thing to miss but the hit sounds mod it's weird not having my hit sound for so long uh, but anyway if, if we open up the repository for chrome you can see here it was just updated like nine hours ago and when i checked it last night it was like a day earlier as well so all these are pretty recent um, updates, I think. Um, one other thing uh, I'll show you is if we go to the Mods Before Friday page, um, it's just a reminder that you can't use, I use Firefox normally, but you can't use Firefox for this modding process. You have to use Google Chrome, Opera, or Microsoft Edge. Uh, you can also use an Android phone, um, and I believe you would probably just use Chrome on that, although I haven't actually done it on a phone yet. Um, and you can't use uh, an iPhone because Apple have it all locked down and you know, uh, you can't do anything on them. So yeah, either get yourself an Android phone or uh, a laptop or a PC, borrow one from a friend or something like that. Um, so I'm going to just stop this quickly here, jump over to Microsoft Edge, and then we'll go through the install process uh, for MBF and modding and see if anything's changed. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so what I did was um, obviously open up Edge, load up um, MBF dot bsquest.xyz, um, connected my Quest to... Uh, and then there was a little option saying connect quest, click the button uh, and you get a little pop-up window appear at the top corner here. Um, it should say quest to paired or it might say quest to and I think if you click connect um, all you have to do is allow it in your headset, allow USB debugging uh, and it should load up to this page. If it doesn't or the USB debugging um, message doesn't appear in the headset, uh, just refresh this page um, and make sure your quest is not like in sleep mode. Uh, I think I, I had that once where the message didn't pop up until I had it kind of awake, if you know what I mean. Um, so just try it a couple of times and it should pair up eventually. Um, but it was really simple. I didn't have to uninstall the game or anything like that um, because last time when I was using, I think previously before using MBF, I was using Quest Patcher and Quest App Version Switcher and I had to kind of uninstall everything because they'd done some different things that MBF didn't like. But at least now you can just, you know, connect back up um, and add mods and stuff. Uh, one thing to note, so this is showing me obviously my mods that I had from 1.35. Now, if I go over to add mods, it's still showing me the mods for the version I have installed um, because you can see Chroma isn't here. Um, so I was just having a quick poke around before I started recording this section because uh, I couldn't figure out how to change to 1.37. But if you go down to set new permissions here, uh, there's a little button at the bottom uh, called Repatch Game. Now, I don't know if this is going to actually work, but I'm going to click it and see what happens. So I'll stop the video after I've clicked this uh, and skip it forward and show you what's happened. Okay, so it's just come up with this message. What I think what I might actually do is uninstall Beat Saber um and do a clean install again and hopefully now mods before friday will come up with the 1.37 patch 
Um, so yeah, I'll do that now and then come back uh, and we'll see if it's showing the 1.37 mods. Okay, so I've uninstalled Beat Saber, reinstalled it again, so we've just got a clean install. Um, I'm going to click Connect to Quest now. Uh, and we can see Quest 2 paired there, connect. Uh, then I'm going to allow it in the headset. There we go. I'm just going to pop the Quest down now. Okay. So... Um, install custom songs, your app has version 1.37, which is supported by mods. Okay, so it looks like if you want to update to a newer version, as far as I can tell, there was no options to update without sort of doing a clean install. So that's what you're going to have to do. Unless I've missed something, but I couldn't see anything. So anyway, let's just go through the install process now and we're good. Um, to get your game ready for custom songs, mods before Friday will next patch your Beat Saber app and install some essential mods. Once this is done, you'll be able to manage your custom songs inside the game. Read carefully. Mods and custom songs are not supported by Beat Games. You may experience bugs and crashes that you wouldn't in a vanilla game. In addition, by modding the game, you will lose access to both vanilla leaderboards and vanilla multiplayer. Modded leaderboard servers are available. Um, the crashes thing, for anyone who doesn't know, the main app uh, app sorry main mod that causes crashes is cosmetics i don't know if things have changed but i see it time and time again people are like my game's crashing all the time after i've modded it and it's usually always because they're using cosmetics um i don't know if it's just certain types of custom sabers or something like that but yeah if you do have a lot of crashing that's probably what's happening uh, anyway let's click mod the app uh, this should only take a few minutes, but might take up to 10 on a very slow internet connection. You must not disconnect your device during this process. Uh, and then it's just downloading and installing different things here, mainly the core mods. Pretty much the core mods. Um, I'll skip this forward uh, until this is completed, uh, just to save a bit of time on the video. Okay, so that's done. Didn't take long at all. Took literally, what, like an extra minute or two. Um, so let's see, your mods first should just be pretty much the, the core mods. Yep. Uh, and then if we go to add mods now, it should be showing uh, the ones that we looked at previously. So yeah, I was just looking for chroma there. I was like, where is it? Um, so yeah, we've got no promo, DLC sorter, nya, better song search, smooth controller, chroma, crash reporter, noodle extensions, and gear sabers. So yeah. That's all good, um, and let's just install some then. Um, better song search, I used that. So that's syncing. There we go. Uh, Chroma. And Noodle. Um, no promo that's all I use really to be honest uh, so then if you go over to your mods now you should see those mods installed there they are uh, let's just have a look at the settings see if anything's different there no that's all the same so we'll just jump in the headset quickly now to make sure we're on the right version the mods are installed and everything's kind of just working as we would expect it to so we'll jump into the quest now okay so here we are in the quest 2 i still don't have a quest 3 um but we're gonna just look over to our left hand side here um and we can see Reload playlist, song downloader, better song search, and refresh songs. Also, if we look at our feet, uh, we can see we're actually on 1.37 there, so the version's updated. Uh, let's just have a look in the options tab. Uh, so we've got mod settings here. Um, so you've got this BSML welcome message here. Uh, playlist core. Um, and then we've got Chroma, but it doesn't actually seem to have any settings, but I mean, it just does its own thing, doesn't it? Uh, and then Noodle Extensions, uh, Note Dissolve, just your typical Noodle settings. Um, 
And that's about it, really. I only installed a couple of mods, didn't I? Uh, so, yeah, everything seems to be working. Um, and that's about it, really. I will post um, just commu a little community post if I see any big mods, um, you know, updated, like replay or something like that, um, or hit sounds. So just keep an eye out on YouTube for my community posts because um, it's pointless me making more videos when it's just sort of another mod. Although, to be honest, if replay and rendering gets updated... Uh, I might make a new video for that depending on if anything's changed because it's been quite a while since I've done uh, a replay uh, rendering guide. Um, so yeah, if things have changed with that, then I definitely will make uh, a separate video um, and maybe show you um, a little bit of how I edit those um, uh, recordings for people who are new. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching.